Hi, today we are going to solve this integral from an exam uh, for first year students uh, from MIPT. So, let's start and here we will use integration by parts. Here we can see formula and now we need to choose our u. So, let our u be x. So, u equals to x. From here, we obtain that du equals to dx. And then, when we find our u, we need to write dv. So, here, dv will be all these stuff. Then write our dv e to the power of x divided by square root dx gives us dv. And from here we need to obtain v. So let's do it. It will be an integral of this line exponent of x divided by square root of e to the power of x minus 1 and we can see that we can put uh, e to the power of x here our exponent and obtain integral of d let's see exponent minus 1 we can put minus 1 here because of derivative of minus 1 gives us u so and here will be the same line. Now I think we can write it a little bit more simple. So it will be exponent minus 1 to the power of 1 minus 1 divided by 2 d exponent minus 1. And as a result we will obtain here minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 gives us 1 divided by 2 so it is square root and we need to divide by 1 divided by 2 so 2 goes up and it is our v well we have u we have du and we have v so now we can use this formula so let's do it I'll write it here. Let's do it. U multiplied by V. 2x. 2x from here. Multiplied by exponent minus 1 square root. Minus integral V du. V is 2 goes here. Then square root. Then v du, du is equal to dx. And what we need to do now? Now, uh, actually, I prefer to work with this integral only, without this part. And what we should do here? We can see that here there is a square root and we will use a substitution. Substitution. Let exponent minus 1 square root be equal to t. So from here we can see that exponent minus 1 equals to t squared. And from here exponent to the power of x equals to t squared plus 1. Also we need to obtain dx. Let's do it. D of our exponent equals to d of t squared plus 1 and here we obtain exponent dx and here will be 2t dt 
and from here therefore we have uh, we can obtain dx it will be equal to t dt divided by our exponent but we know that it is equal to t squared plus one so let's substitute our exponent and here will be t squared plus one so from here now we can move to our integral let's call it a and our a our integral which is equal to minus two exponent minus one dx now we use our substitution and can rewrite our integral like this this part is equal to t then there is dx and dx equals to 2t dt divided by t squared plus 1. So what else we can do here? We can multiply these two and these two and obtain minus 4. Integral here will be t squared dt and here will be t squared plus 1 and then we can see that we can here in our numerator uh, add 1 and then write minus 1. So let's do it. Minus 4 integral t squared plus 1 minus 1 divided by t squared plus 1 dt. So this part and this part are the same actually. So now we can divide t squared plus 1 by this denominator and then divide minus 1 also by this denominator and obtain two integrals. So let's do it. Minus 4 integral. These lines are equal. So we will obtain 1 and here will be dt. Then we will obtain minus 4 and minus 1 will be plus 4 and integral of dt divided by t squared plus 1. And here we can see a formula of our tangent. Let's write a quick reminder. So dx, integral of dx divided by x squared plus a squared equals to 1 divided by a our tangent x divided by a plus constant. So here, not x but t, but we can see that it's our situation and our a will equal will be equal to 1. So let's use this formula and calculate our a. So this part of our integral. Let's do it. Minus 4 t plus 4, then 1 divided by a. But here a equals to 1. So 1 divided by 1. We have only 4. Then arctangent x divided by a, but t divided by 1 gives us t. And plus, well, I write c1. It's our constant, but Yeah, yc1, maybe c, let it be c. So, and now we need to see here where we uh, have our substitution and change our line. So let's do it, minus 4 t, t equals to square root, then plus 4 arctangent of t. Again, square root plus c. And now we can move here and we can add this part to this result and obtain our final result. So integral of x multiplied by exponent divided by square root dx gives us, first of all, 2x 
this part, don't forget about this part. And now minus 2 we have here, so it will be minus 4 square root of exponent minus 1 plus 4 arctangent of our square root plus constant. Of course, constant from real numbers. So this is this line is the answer to our problem, the solution of our integral from once again exam for first year students from MIPT.